If you stop struggling, we can get through this a lot faster. Yes, I'm talking to you. Do you see anyone else bound with silver chains to a chair? <laughs> the usual band of questions. Who are you? Why am I here? Where am I? Jesus. The sooner you stop struggling and making all the noise, the sooner I can start. It's very hard to talk over the chains that you keep rattling. I don't feel like raising my voice any higher than I have to. I've had a very long night. Oh, for the love of God, stop. It's silver. You aren't going to get out of those. Thank you. Alright, let's just jump into this. Not my first rodeo, anyway. My name is Eve, and you are in the Bureau of Paranormal Investigations. I don't really like the name, none of us here do, so we usually just call it The Pen. And why you are here in Chained Down is because you've been a very naughty little werewolf. Yes, I said werewolf. We know what you are. We've known ever since you've been turned, actually. Yeah. Two years ago, you went out for a hike in the woods. You were attacked by a feral dog, according to the police records that we have here. Then you started experiencing things. And then the usual, you know, you figure it out and blah 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 blah. I can't believe this. Feral dog? Was that seriously the best story our PR team could scrounge up? Maybe I should have a talk with them about getting some new material to pawn off on the local cops. I don't know how much longer we can keep of that story without anyone getting suspicious of us. There's only so many feral dogs you could possibly have. Oh, what type of bureau are we? Well, we're an organization that exists because creatures like you exist. Now, if all of you decided to be good little paranormal creatures and not cause any trouble, we wouldn't have to be here. Unfortunately, that's not the case. We get the occasional you popping up. Yes, I said you. The ones who like to run amok. The ones who like to stir up trouble. The ones who have no regard for the need of secrecy. And that's where we come in. We don't like it when attention is drawn to our little corner of the world. We try to avoid the spotlight, as it were. And we try to make sure no one else sees us. And then you happen. Happy little accidents. <laughs> oh, don't look at me. That's not my line. That's my aunt's. Oh, what do I mean by that? Oh, let's see. Your first year was pretty good. You only had one kill. Man in the woods. Found a week later. He seemed to have a run-in with a rabid animal. Certainly did a number on him. Could those claw marks be any deeper? And then your second year hit. Six people gone missing. I have to hand it to you. You learned how to hide the bodies well enough from the cops. Where are not the cops, though? We found all of them. And gave their families peace, if you even care about that. Then this year was the final straw. You start going in double digits. That's not good. That starts raising eyebrows. And that's why you are now sitting in that chair. Like so many others before you. And like those others, we're offering you a choice. Yes, we, my division. See, my institution is not the monsters that the rumors paint us out to be. I'm pretty sure you've heard of a group of people that go around killing supernatural beings. Yeah. Well, we do have a division for that. We also have a division that believes in creatures like you getting a second chance. Because, yes, we believe that even killers like you, that given to your nature, deserve that. That's the rules. Yes, the rules. We have to operate by them as well. We're not above the laws of our world. So with all of that rambling said, I present you with a choice. 
The first option is the fairly obvious one. You don't agree to work with us, we simply kill you. The gun you see sitting on the table next to me has a silver bullet loaded with your name on it. Option two, you let me be your handler. We put you through a rehabilitation process. And after said process, you come and you work for us. Is that amusing to you? Yes, I'm being serious. You would come work for us as our agent. We're always looking for new members to come and help us here. Capturing an alpha such as yourself is rare. And you would make a great addition to our institute. If you got through the process. Still amusing. Alright, let me ask you something. How do you think we got you in those chains? I bet you didn't even know we were tracking you. That we were hunting you. And by the time the acquisition team finally got to you, it was too late. The dart was already in your skin, and you were knocked out cold. You were unconscious when they set you up here in the silver chains. By the way, you snore. <laughs> you know, we do have another division here. The acquisitions team that I mentioned focuses on retrieving potential agents. For those we deem that are too far gone, though, well, we send the termination team after them. Those individuals are considered not worthy of our time, and we simply dispose of them. I want to make this very clear. I thought the termination team should have been sent for you. My higher-ups, though, had the last say on the matter, and an alpha werewolf is too rare of an opportunity to pass up on. Even one as homicidal as you. So here we are. You're presented with this new beginning. I would cease your laughter and actually consider it. Yes, you would be working with me. And no, I'm not new when it comes to dealing with werewolves. In fact, I specialize in dealing with alphas. And you're not my first one, so you're nothing special. And I know how your kind works. I know your weaknesses and strengths and your habitual behaviors. Do not mistake me for a rookie. But why am I here? I guess you could say it runs in the family. My aunt runs the division I work in now, and I have a cousin that runs the vampiric part of our team. Honestly, I think I drew the short end of the stick getting assigned to you werewolves. At least the vampires have some form of manners and etiquette. I can't really overlook the fact that most of them are pompous fucking pricks. You lot, though, seem to be very in touch with your primal nature. And while some of them are fascinating to record and observe, others are just... off-putting. But enough about me. This is your process, should you choose to start it. If not, we'll just take you outside and shoot you in the back of the head like a dog. Oh, don't you growl at me. I know wolves don't like being called dogs, even though you are part of the canine family. Deal with it. So what's your choice? The bullet? Or the process? <laughs> you know, honestly, I was hoping you'd choose the bullet. But alright. This is how it's gonna go. We're going to get you out of those chains and set you up with your uniform, room, and board. Yes, you will be staying here at the complex. I don't feel like bringing you home and losing more furniture than I can afford to replace. Training puppies is always a bitch. <laughs> with that said, we will be getting you hooked up then with a therapist and a primary doctor to monitor your physical condition as well as a trainer and a sponsor. Another werewolf. Probably an alpha. Oh, please, I don't trust you with an omega or a beta. I know how wolves work, remember? You'd have either one of those submitting to you within the first five minutes. I don't think so. I told you, you aren't my first alpha. You're not going to pull a fast one on me. Alright, I think you've been in that chair long enough. Let's get started, then. And who knows, you may even come to like your life here.
Hey guys, it's Eris here. Thank you so much for listening, and thank you to all the new subscribers. I cannot believe the number went up as fast as it did right now. With that said, if you are liking the adventures of Eve and Sasha and the rest of the characters of the pen, please leave a comment below. I do take your guys' opinion into consideration, especially when it comes to the direction in which the story is going in. Also, if you would like to click that like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. And subscribe if you would like to see any more where this crazy adventure is at ending up. Thanks guys so much for all the support, and I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Bye!